Country is not happening. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> he that is, is, he, is mm. he, he is one of these individuals from South Florida who uh, who uh, who absolutely hates North Florida. The only state that gets more south, the more north you go. So yeah, he'll be sticking to his usual combination of either uh, Bob Marley esque uh, Jamaican stuff or uh, annoying as hell hair metal. One of the two. <laughs> so with that. Um... Last call, you're looking at the maps, and you're trying to determine where you are and where the first hive is. Uh, and you do successfully manage to get your orientation, and as you uh, as you guys roll up to the first one, it probably takes you about 20 minutes to navigate through the actual fields themselves without running any crops over, because you're pretty sure that Joseph wouldn't like that all too much. Yeah. So you guys pull up to the first beehive. Um, it is a, it's almost a shipping container. You did not expect the hive to be this fucking big. Wow, gross. Hurricane is going to go out and he's going to pop open, uh, get out of the truck and pop open his uh, smuggling compartment. He has a troll size smuggling compartment where he keeps all his res restricted and F rated gears. He's going to pull out his full body armor, also because it has a chem seal and is armored and he's going to walk around hundreds of thousands of bees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He puts this on, he pops a Kim seal, and although he is an allergic, uh, he also has critter spook. <laughs> I don't know if it applies to insects or not, but... So the rest of you notice that as Hurricane gets out of the car, the droning of bees that you, you hear throughout the shipping container rises. Almost angrily so. You uh, you sure you want to go in there? Yeah, yeah, I am sure? absolutely not going to go in there. I am just preparing for the worst. <laughs> um, you know what I'm going to do though? And he pulls out a uh, fly, uh, fly spy, the little spherical ones, and he tosses it in the air and has it go look around the hive. Oh, you okay. mean the uh, the, the fly? Because the, the fly eye. spy is a little fly drone, right? Yeah, so it's, you're using a flying eye. Yes, yeah, the flying eye. Okay, it's the one that explodes too. The flashman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nice. I'm going to run a uh, just quick matrix perception on the hope that maybe this data pad was running, running wireless. Okay. Go ahead. Probably not going to get very far. Cliff, Domino, what are you guys doing? Cliff is going to switch on his astral perception and take a look around. Okay. Uh, roll me in a sensing check, please. And Domino, what would you like to do? Out. With all of these angry sounding things buzzing around you that you've never heard before. She is personally trying not to just be like, what the fuck have I gotten myself into now? <laughs> and is just readying one of her grenades. I don't know. She's from the Barrens. I just assume not necessarily bees, but horrible hives of buzzing insects infesting everywhere is just part of the urban landscape. At least it is where I'm from. Well, right. Um, there is a certain aspect to it. But you're facing literally a shipping container filled with bees. <laughs> like that's an entirely different level. Yes, yeah, that's, that is a level of terrifying. Like, <laughs> yes, I have a Barons related story from real life. I I don't want to interrupt, so I'll be quick. But a uh, one of my friends' friends, uh, he didn't live in a very nice place, and uh, he had a bee infestation that he let to get out of hand to the point where the uh, hive was the size of a human torso. So uh, when he decided to finally do something about it at the behest of everyone, it, you know, he didn't have money for an exterminator. So what he did was he borrowed someone's uh, parka jacket, which is not common in Texas, put on several layers of clothes, gloves, a motorcycle helmet, taped all these things closed, oh, no. and he got a baseball bat. You have got to be kidding me. Uh, and um, <laughs> Is he alive? Yes, he appears to have adequately prepared for this, but uh, I think we at least convinced him to, like, you know, toss a bug bomb in first before going waiting in there. <laughs> but Jesus. this is, it was a, uh, you might be a r urban redneck if moment. Jesus, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, wait, so I have a question about the shipping container. So sure. right now it's actually closed, correct? No, yes. the, the back door, you're facing the closed end, the opposite side is open. Okay, so they could easily just be going and actually coming out towards us. Right. In theory. Yeah. So they, could, they just go out and funnel out. Correct. Okay. They have no reason to right now. They're just doing their thing. You see, like, small hives on the outside, 
but you haven't seen the inside, so you have no idea what like <laughs> what's going on. Okay. Now, when I say shipping container, I'm not talking like shipping container you would find on a ship. Yeah, that's I'm what I thought. I'm talking like <laughs> those little mini like trailers that like FedEx uses two or three of on a on a semi truck when you're driving on the highway. I'm talking one of those smaller, smaller ones. Right. But even then, it looks like it was. it's still on the wheels. Like, it's probably just adapted from something that was left there 20 years ago. Okay. All right, so, um, last call. You, you don't see any sparky things nearby. Your, your wireless signal is jacked up. You're in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere. I'm surprised you even get signal. Well... Good hustle. Now it's time to start combing the ground. Uh, Cliff, when you sense the hive, you you get a general feeling of malcontent. Uh, only and and you you feel it directed almost solely at Hurricane. Like something about him is irritating. Actually, it's irritating you. Like just something about him is just super <laughs> aggravating. Oh no. Because okay, turn off your critter too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, hey, Hurricane. They don't. They don't seem to like you very much. Critters don't, and I just tend to re to return the favor. This is why I'm not getting near them if I don't have to. Cliff's gonna shrug his shoulders and stare yeah. suspiciously at Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that look supposed to be? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, so at this point, Dama's gonna be like, okay, so hand away from mouth. What? Hand away from mouth, so they can hear you. Oh. Well, at this point, she's going to be like, okay, well, obviously, Hurricane can't go towards the other end of the cart unless we want him to die. <laughs> or at least be stung repeatedly. If they can get through this, we're in trouble. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> we can't just stand on this side of the cart. We're going to actually have to look either in it or move on to the next one. I said, well, let's, well, we got the drones on the case. All right, so can you make me a control device action? Uh, what was that pool again? Your control device. Or is that a direct skill? That's that's your skill. That's like pilot ground craft. Or in this oh, particular... Oh, go gotcha. Yeah, pilot aircraft. you're controlling the drone. <laughs> are you just giving it orders, or are you like... What's going on? Do you, um, are you a rigger? I don't think no, so. No, I'm not a rigger. I'm, a, I'm a, just a guy who uses drones for utility, so I don't really actually have any decent pool here. Okay, so you're relying on the Autosofts present in the drone. Right. Okay, so give uh -huh. it a command. What's it doing? Uh, okay, first uh, do a 360 around it, and then go inside oh. the hive and uh, broadcast what it sees. Okay, um, that's easy enough. I won't make you roll for that. Um, however, I will make you roll pilot aircraft. Uh, do you have that? Or, I'm I sorry, do. in that case, it would be the dog brain. So does it have pilot? I do not know. These are off-the-shelf things. Okay, so in that, if you didn't download any programs onto them, it's going, to, I believe, to be the pilot statistic plus the handling statistic in DICE. Okay. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, I need, I just needed something to, uh, you know, have a 360 overlay in the city, but... Mm -hmm. um. It, for maneuvering, which is its piloting, it'd be the pilot aircraft skill rating autosoft plus the pilot statistic. Okay, it's, so, so if you don't have the autosoft, it's just your pilot dice. Yes. To do any, any fine stuff. And I would think that flying a drone into a living beehive would definitely be a maneuvering check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let me... Uh... Dang, I just thought something I could have done. What? Jerry rigged it to actually be able to survive bees all flying around. Well, you could still do it. It hasn't gone in yet. Okay. Um, How are you going to... Are, Hurricane, are you going to let Domino work on your drone? <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, just FYI, there's a, there's an explosive device inside there. You you know, oh. you, you have seen drones. But you've actually worked on one of those before and have replaced it with a high explosive. Okay. Just don't look at you and be like, can I replace it with a with a better explosive? <laughs> Not here, you can't. You don't got your tools. Yes, it, it time and place, time and place. Um, so it's uh, you said it was the uh, drone's pilot times. It's it, it would have a pilot autosoft. 
Right. So it's just a pilot rating. However, what Beverly is talking about is that there is a jury rig quality, which will allow you to get a couple extra dice out of believe pilot, right? Is that what it says in the book? And it says plus two to mechanical tests. Right. Okay. I don't have that, or at least not yet. She does. I do. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, then by all means. All right, so you uh, so you grab the drone, you tinker with it a little bit, and give it back to him. What do you say? You're welcome. Have fun. <laughs> okay. So it's plus two plus the drone's rating, right? Correct. The drone's uh, pilot rating. We'll get to you in a second, last call. Nope. Okay. Uh, oh so it goes in, and you immediately get stuck in one of the hives. They don't like <laughs> So that angry drone of hive, or that angry drone of bees, has gone up another octave. Oh god! As something has lodged itself in their hive, and you, all you see in the feed in your AR display is just bees. There's nothing else. You cannot see <laughs> anything. Wow. All right, I'm going to shell out for a crawler next time. Jesus. <laughs> if you would like to attempt to extricate it, you can. <laughs> All right, so that would be a regular roll, right? Yes. Does anyone have leadership to scream at me to not be a dumbass here? If you don't I have, have you can't take leadership. It's counted as an assist test. Oh, well, no, no, no. I was going to tell mean, you. You can, um, you can, you can try to, to roll a pilot to get it out. Basically, re-roll. Cliff's going to tell you, they're getting really angry now. <laughs> Said, yeah, I can tell. Right, at this point, Domino's gonna start backing away <laughs> to the other side of the truck. That's when you get in the truck and lock is. the door. <laughs> all right, so uh, so you do manage to kind of back it up. Would you like to retrieve it now that it's covered in honey and beeswax? Yes, okay. I'm not gonna push my luck here. So I say, wait a minute, I. I trust, uh, well, I assume he saw, uh, Hurricane saw him summoning the spirit, right? Yeah. Um, sure. All right, and so, I, could you, I don't know, can you tell if there was a beta human signature inside all that bees on the astral thingy thing you guys do? <laughs> I'm uh, not sure I? how it works. Cliff? Could I? Yeah, I mean, you can try sensing. Uh, you did already. Right. Um, but there's I, the thing about a sensing is um, that at least again in my mind as a GM, if there's a shit ton of life, you can't really differentiate life from life. It's just more of a oh look, here's a beehive. It's happy now. It's not so happy. Oh, it's healthy now. It's not so healthy. And if there are small things in this large fucking hive, you're not really going to be able to pick up on it. Right. Too well. You can well, sense a troll is a troll's pretty large. That's why I was thinking it might be able to differentiate if, for whatever reason, she's passed out. And KO. If, and if you one. roll high enough, absolutely, that's something that you'd be able to pick out. But the likelihood of of rolling that high to pick out an individual life form in a huge hive is, I don't want to say slim to none, but you you would have to pass a pretty high yeah. threshold. Yeah. So you can sense emotions. So did I sense any different emotions, or did it all seem like the same emotion coming from the It's just behind? angry. Like that's all you get, right. especially now that the hive uh, disturbed. I don't think she's in there, but if she is, she's probably a goner. Yeah, why don't we hit the other... Uh, we got all day, let's keep moving. Alright, so while Hurricane has been poking the hive to ill effect, LC has been kind of walking around, I assume, right? Yeah, just sort of walking the perimeter, taking a look at things. Okay. Um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary, but then again, you're not exactly sure what ordinary is in this case. Not having any type of beekeeping experience. Uh, but nothing looks out of place. Uh, you don't see any, like, signs of struggle. You don't see blood. You don't see, you know, a random troll body in the shape and size of Michelle Klein floating around anywhere. So, I think you guys can safely assume that there's nothing here. All right. All right. On to the next one. Back in the truck. All right. So, you guys take off again. <laughs> How you feeling, Hurricane, with your full body armor of anti beatum I'm raising the visor a bit, but, you know, he's a weapon specialist. He's loose to sticking around, being uncomfortable in vehicles, wearing too much gear. So, as long as no one shoots at him, this is a better than average day. <laughs> Cliff, he'll, take off, he'll take off his helmet while, while we're in the truck in case someone looks and say, what the hell's going on? 
Cliff, Cliff still doesn't trust Hurricane. Okay. How 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 do you have any other feelings so far? Uh, well, he's hoping we don't poke the next beehive as much. <laughs> They're awesome. considering moving into the cab of the truck if there's space. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the girl in the back with the explosives. <laughs> I mean, I'll sit in the bed of the truck, make some room. All right. Um, Domino, last call. How are you guys doing? I feel like at this point, she's just... All of this is so new to her, so she's in a state of, what the fuck is this? What do I really look for? Go look a tree. I've never seen that before. Pretty much. She's just like, what, 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 is, what is life? What is this? So she. I mean, that that constant droning of bugs and bees is probably probably getting the LCD just a touch. <laughs> just, you know, he, he's got the earbuds in. Let, let's filter out the sounds of bees. Just <laughs> better. All right. So, roll me another navigation so you can get to the next beehive. All right. This is my aid check for you. Cliff, is there anything that you would like to do with your two other spirits? Uh, not spirits. Services? Services, thank you. I'm going to hold on to them for now. Okay. And Domino, is there anything that you would like to add? Not currently. Okay. Eh, not great, but could be worse. That's true. Hurricane, are you going to assist them, or are you going to try and roll I just own? did. You rolled one. Gotcha. Okay, so hey. you guys managed not to get lost, which is pretty good um does it get you where you need to go not really but you're not lost which is you know exactly where you are on the map um so you're you're a little bit off of the hive but you managed to kind of fumble your way around this one takes about 45 minutes to get to because you guys almost get stuck in a ditch because last call went turn here and he didn't actually mean turn here um yeah you don't want we turn here oh turn here no 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 damn it (laughs) Yeah, um, car crashes and shadow run aren't very nice, uh, and especially when you're in the bed. So just oh, FYI, it's just, it's might be a ditch. You're not running into a tree. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that not way. that evil. At that point, it's roll Pretty gymnastics to the bell. Yeah, exactly. Roll gymnastics. Everybody out. Done. <laughs> Gophers totaled. Fuck it. Um, all right. So you guys do make it to the next hive. Um, what you see is actually a pair of crushed cars sitting on top of each other. Uh, and there are just bees flying everywhere. So this guy is apparently either took them where they were supposed to go and just left them, or is kind of letting them naturally evolve in things that are already there. Huh. What would you guys like to do? So they're just here are two cars like this. Yep, just pretty much crushed on top of each other. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sort of walk a bit of a grid search, looking around, see what I can find. Yeah, Let them. She- uh, gonna, what things? He's gonna go with last call. Okay, so both a, of you roll a perception check. Uh, Hurricane Cliff, what would you guys like to do? I'm just gonna check the astral again. Oh right, um, you guys should. I should probably plug you guys into the tac net. Ah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that. Um, so everyone pick up to the perception. Uh, one to stealth, and what is it keyed to right now? Right, right. One to automatics. Okay, hold on a second. So as an additional two. Additional two. Yep. Jesus Christ! Do you want to know what I'm rolling right now for perception? What's that? I'm rolling fourteen. Oh for Jesus! <laughs> Bev, when Tetrachrome's done, Elsie's throwing nineteen. Jesus Christ! I see everything. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> All right, so between Domino and Last Call, you guys do notice the telltale tracks of people walking. Um, There's lots of large leafy greens here, um, overgrownness everywhere, so it's not hard to find tracks. Um, It looks like there's been a pretty consistent path back and forth, and from what you can tell, even though the truck can't travel here, um, it looks like that you're able um, at least to walk between these given a certain amount of time. So this is an actively traveled area. Okay, so knowing that I would be able to look at the map and kind of see which direction the prints are going. Like according to the map, if it's to a direction of another hive. Yes, or it is in to the direction of another hive. Okay. So you guys have kind of pieced together that people walk this. The reason it's taking so long to get from place to place is because you're avoiding trudging through everything. Huh. Well, 
Not sure what to do with that just yet. <laughs> yeah, because nobody wants to so we are we have the, the, the car hive, and then uh -huh. there's a trail probably leading to another, the third hive, correct? Correct. And you said there are seven hives total. Yes. All right, I guess, uh, you know, I'm not going to get near, anywhere near as close to this uh, to this hive as I did to the last one. I'm not going to push my luck. <laughs> uh, Sarge, the, yes. the footprints, does it look troll-sized or a number of people? Um, yeah, no, there's it's it's a couple people, but you do notice several distinct troll-sized footprints. All right. I think I might uh, take the long way and follow the trail for a bit. Okay. What would everybody else like to do? Because this is a team effort, guys. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't... Like, Domino's torn, because you can kind of notice the... The look that Cliff is probably giving a hurricane right now. <laughs> and also doesn't want to leave last call, though she figures he could probably take care of himself. Well, so, is Hurricane going? To down what? The road there? Well, if you communicate, hey, we probably have a third thing, and then he's going to ask yeah. Cliff, you see LCL anything? just send a quick message. Uh, going to follow the trail for a bit. Psych. Keep your location in AR, because if something happens... Oh, well, that's the wonderful thing about AttackNet. We've all got each other's bio-monitors and ammo readouts for weapons. Mm -hmm. Think like a first-person shooter's HUD. We have that, but it also gives you the readout of your whole team. Oh, fantastic. Sort of like the Payday 2 thing. Yeah, think of right. that. Only it cost me uh, a third of a million credit, uh, New Yen. Nice. My for for is, level one. No, that's, <laughs> oh no, I spent half a million at this point because I've got the level two version. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, uh. Hey, yeah, I think for the moment. Yeah, so we, can we confirm the second hive is clear yet or are we still poking at it? Uh, Cliff, would you like to ascense it or do. Uh, I got ones? one hit. One hit on ascensing. Um, again, they're, they're getting disturbed the fact that Hurricane is around. Um,. But you send sympathy to them, <laughs> and they seem to calm down a tad. But uh, no, they're they're pretty happy. At least they were before Hurricane got there. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't, I'm not sensing anybody, but I still don't like you, Hurricane. My Feeling friend doesn't mutual. like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> So I guess we should follow them. Okay. All right. So All right. everybody's said the there's uh, yeah there's Hurricane's gonna take the uh, med kit and he uh, crime boss you know in a uh, along what? with him. Okay. What's your rating for your for your med kit? It's six. Mine too. Never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're large duffel bags once they get up to that rating. Yeah, so you can carry it. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys are taking a hike. Uh, roll me navigation again, but this time at a minus two. Because there All aren't right. any actual trails for you to follow anymore. Okay, Other here's my eight roll. roll. Hacking just to follow the footprints. Yeah, would this be a tracking test? You know what? I could go for that. Are you trying to get... So the question being to determine the two, are you trying to get to the next hive or are you trying to figure out where these footprints go? Where the footprints go. Okay, in that case, yes, it would be a tracking. Well, still same result because I have the uh, skill group. Okay. What's All right. That well, I will take that. Uh, survival skill group, I believe. Uh, well, I have none of that. <laughs> so you can just tag it along it's with them. <laughs> pretty much. Like, I have nothing to contribute right now. Wow. All right. Wow. Cliff, would you like to roll? Uh, with the minus two, I've only got two dice left. So okay. I will pass and just trust <laughs> trust in my comrades as long I'm as Hurricane isn't leading. For that, so, don't worry about it. so Hurricane, go ahead and lead. Uh, last call, you're close behind. Um, and you guys just one foot in front of the other. Um, it takes about 15 minutes, but you do come up to the next hive. Before you get there, Cliff, you hear it. Can you make an ascensing check for me real quick? All right. All no right. successes. Um, you, you try and get a good look at it, but there's just too much going on. 
Um, you're distracted. The, the spirit's talking to you for some reason. Like you just can't get a good feel on what's going on there. Um, the the normal hostile buzz that you guys have gotten used to hearing when Hurricane is around a hive is already in place when you get there. And it doesn't seem to rise extra. It's almost like they're not quite paying attention to you. Something has them worked up. You walk up, and this is actually a regular set of beehives. Just crates, like milk crates, with some almost, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, filters, like HEPA elf air filters, just stuck in the crates. And the bees have made hives out of them. So would I be able to roll the perception just to see if there's if they're distracted by something maybe see from since we're coming from I'm assuming like the back side of it to see if she has a good angle to see if there's anything else that's in the air. Sure. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Would anybody else like to roll things? I'm just gonna roll perception to you know, take a general look around the place. Okay. Sorry for not using the macro here. I keep blank forgetting to use that. No, that's cool. I mean, whatever you're more comfortable with, I'm not... I, uh, I just find it's usually easier to do that because it keeps track of who's rolling what and right. for, for what. Um, okay, so Hurricane, five successes. Domino, six successes. You guys both notice that they're just flying around everywhere. Like, they're not really taking a good seat as to where their hive is. They're just, like, almost in a defensive way. Like, they're just buzzing around everywhere. Like, it's, there's almost a sphere of influence around them. Why, God, why do I wish I had beekeeping? <laughs> um, but there's gonna like ask nothing that's... Doesn't really it'd be out of place in that environment, though, right? There's no, like, body or anything. Not like that, not that you can see, no. Like, would we have to go closer to look? Or Probably. Just... Yeah, it's a little far off. Last call. Cliff, Cliff, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I'm going to um, ask my spirit to keep doing what he's doing, but also have him try to ascend. See if he can get a fix on anything, any spells, anything uh, unusual in the area. Okay. All right. Um, he relays back to you that they're agitated. All right. That's that's pretty much all you get. He's a very <laughs> succinct spirit. Um, he pretty much just like he gives you the feeling that it's it's something other than than normal interference. There's something. It's just something has them in a defensive posture. Um, but he I'll just can't, little... he can't get a, a a reading on what. All right. I'll give him an astral thumbs up. Okay. Kind of like think about it really hard. He kind of like waggles his wings a little bit. Uh, tell the group though, I got nothing. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Doesn't look magical to me. I feel like Domino's gonna do stupid things. Anybody got anything? Mm, so we've sensed it. Yep. And we perceived it. Mm. That means you probably. Hey, Hurricane. Yeah. What's up? What size armor are you? Oh, we're about uh, 32 standard. Why? I might need to borrow that. How tall are you, last call? Like, legit. About six foot even. Hurricane? Little. About the same. Okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> That's it. All right, you can borrow it. I'm sticking, the, I'm sticking way over here, then. Good All right. Idea. <laughs> also, you're going to put on the helmet, drag his ballistic mask over the front of it. Uh, I'm going well, to say no. You're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> nice try, uh, though. For no armor, just for fun. But he'll, he'll leave that just practice. Like, All right. So something in there is agitating them? Well, something's agitating them. Something is agitating them. Wait, and is it for me? Hurricane just pisses off. Creatures? Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> uh, Hurricane, just take a walk that way for a few minutes. You know what? By all means, you have fun in there. I'm going to just Flash. kick out the yes. flashlight and just sort of slowly Why? walk up, try to move slowly and non-threateningly. Okay. While you do that. That's going to back up a bunch, too. <laughs> Bev? 
Okay, while Last Call is doing that, since I have vision magnification in my goggles, can I actually follow him with my goggles just to see, or even try to we'll see past him, if at all possible? Sure. Do I have to roll? You would roll visual perception? perception for that. That's what I do. Okay, so roll 14 again. Okay, so Last Call, um, what are you, what are you doing? You crazy um, motherfucker. I'm walking up. If something's, at, I just want to get a quick look, quick look, make sure she didn't get stung to death or something silly. Okay. So as you start walking toward the bees, the drone goes up again. I'm um, going to activate the chem seal. Huh? Turn it on that chem seal. Okay. So chem seal is activated. And as you start walking closer to the set of crates that have become the hive, you, um, you notice that the intensity of the bees ratchets up as you get closer. Um, it just turns into almost a swirling vortex of just bees as they try to sting you, as they try to get you away from their hive. Cliff, your spirit is getting slightly disturbed. Like, it's not anything that is going wrong. It's just that there is such a hostility brewing off of this hive. They aren't supposed to be this angry. Uh, I'm going to pass along to... Last call and tell him uh, it's not looking very good. Um, even my spirit doesn't like what you're doing. I don't know. Spirits tend to not like what I do. And then uh, suddenly the spirit caws and lands on a branch next to you and, and sends you like a mental image of them being scared. Of the spirit being scared or the bees being scared? The bees. The bees are scared. Oh. Which is why they're so angry. Hmm. That's really weird. Mm -hmm. That's that um, Last call. Make me a perception check at minus four, please. All right. Because there are a shit ton of bees all around you. <laughs> all right. Wow. Uh, Bev, same. Since you guys are watching, does anybody else would they like? Would you guys like to try to get in on the perception checks? Hurricane's am I still gonna try to. Negative four, or am I? Yes, you're also at negative four. Now this is only for looking inside the hive, right? Correct, or looking close to the middle of the hive, like watching what Last Call is doing, or around him. I'll probably be doing that at a distance. Does this mean a further? Uh... Yes, it would be a negative six. Because negative six. four is for the the swarm. Negative another negative two for distance. That's kind of the limit of Cliff's perception. He's nope. not going to try it. Plus twos from the tack nut. Yep, yeah, plus two's from I, the tack I, I did. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, my, well, base is, uh, my base is nine. Minus four is five. Plus two is... Wait. No, I, I forgot my extra two. Would you like to roll? <laughs> I would. Jesus, okay. H. Okay. <laughs> Well, Hurricane and Cliff, you both are just absolutely stunned with how vicious these bees are right now. Like, <laughs> you hardly see them in the first place. Like, Hurricane, you've barely seen them on Discovery Channel. Cliff, you just are, like, you're familiar with animals, but you've never seen bees this hostile before. However, Domino, last call, you see nothing. You're just like, oh my god, there's so many fucking bees, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, you start having almost a little mini panic attack, even though you know you're safe. There's just a sheer shit ton of bees around you right now, and they're fucking angry. Domino, you're the only person... And it's blissful quiet. <laughs> um, Domino, you're the only person to notice where near where Last Call is, is there signs of a scuffle. Do I have to roll to be able to, like, zoom in more? You're zoomed in as far as you can go. Okay. You're um, you're just picking up like in the in a certain non-specific direction. Like it's more of a instead of left or right or follow this trail. It's like that direction. <laughs> Somewhere in this forest, in this quarter of the land, something happened. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and relay this over his whatchamadoodle and be like, turn him down, kind of towards you. From what I can see with my goggles, it looks like there something might have happened in your area. I can't zoom in any clearer to get a better picture. You're the best one in the area right now. All right, Elsie's just gonna stop. All right, he's gonna turn around and just like, 
tell me when to stop, and he's just going to move very slowly, almost like he's walking through a minefield. Because <laughs> you kind of are walking through a minefield of bees. Minefield right, of bees! <laughs> oh, God. Anybody hey. else watch... Uh... Oh, what's his name? Sarge. What? When you talk to Saren again, you need to tell him, bees. <laughs> bees. <laughs> Who who is that comedian? Eddie Eddie Izzard. That's it. <laughs> Do beekeepers like hit on each other? Like I like my women like I like my coffee. Covered in bees. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hilarious, like hilarious that. comic. You guys gotta watch it. He's awesome. Yeah. Um. Anyway, sorry. My apologies. Um. So he's turning around, Beverly. I assume that you would tell him when to stop and where yes. to look. Okay. So you're not going to need a perception check because you're having you're you're basically somebody's guiding you to what you're supposed to look at, and you do see pretty clear signs of a scuffle, and you start seeing that there's a very very slight track off to the off the beaten path. Also, he's going to start following it. Then can I kind of like. I'm gonna just highlight an AR. No. (laughs) No, you can't. (laughs) It's a good question. Stealth check with B. No, you can't. (laughs) Well, like, if I'm going around them, like, enough, I mean, a couple might. Well, yeah, I mean, if all three of you kind of walk around to intercept LC, you could go around without, um, like, aggravating the hive anymore. Yes, I will allow that. Okay. You don't really need a stealth check to do that. Do you guys kind of want to meet him? As yeah, long as it doesn't do involve that. getting stung, sure. I feel like Parmy wants to be like Hurricane, just go like really far out <laughs> that way, like really far out, do like a whole separate loop. <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, that was the intention. <laughs> <laughs> so you all managed to kind of intercept Elsie as he's walking by. The last few bees on him have been shaken off and are either falling down dead after they tried to sting him, or they have returned back to their hive. Clear. So you all do notice that there is a very slight, like two-person track. Um, the the large size troll footprints are there, and it looks like they're. Um, if somebody make me another tracking check, judge Any- intentions might be good at a negative. Um, things like this. You're trying to interpret what these footprints look like. I've never had someone be so useless. All right, judge intentions. Okay, you're taking a negative two to your judge intentions. Oh, okay. Well, it'd be the same thing as uh, the tracking, so why don't I aid you with the tracking and uh, <laughs> proceed from there? Okay. Cliff, anything you wanna you wanna try? Actually, no. Uh, I... Anything up here in the astral? <laughs> Does it... Actually, this will be a judge intentions. I just realized that. Yeah, this would be the best. Okay. Um, Cliff, not that you can see. Just All general right. being of nature. There's no animosity or anything like that floating around. No indications of spells. Jesus H, this is not right. <laughs> <laughs> Last call, dominoes, or anything you guys would like to try? Uh, I tracking. I got two hits. You got two hits on tracking. Okay. Um, the, the most that you can tell, Last Call, is that the troll was walking in front of the whoever was following her. Uh, All right. That's good enough for him. Uh, so you want your armor back, Hurricane? Yes. All right. So you guys, uh, I'm going to assume that you trade armor. Yep. Okay. Do I'm so. going to get back into my Argentum coat. Okay. Um, as you start, I'm assuming you guys want 